So since I'm at my aunt's house, I'm trying to get a lot of this and that done. Um, there's just a little projects I want to get done before getting back on the road. So I bought some stuff. I went to the RV shop and bought some stuff that I need. I got um, a door handle for my screen door. Uh, put in and then fixed the screen on it, but it was missing the handle. It's always been missing the handle. So I found one and it wasn't that expensive. It was like um, six bucks. So I'm going to install that. Also, I've got one of these door latches. I've just been bunging my door and it's been working, but um, I wanted something more permanent. So I've got this latch. This is a door latch. I'm definitely replacing that. And this is nothing that was necessary, but um, my step that goes down has a bit of a spring in it. So this is a step stabilizer and it goes up. It also goes up even more than that, up to 12 inches. So yay, I'm happy about that. You just set it underneath and you just screw this up until it stabilizes the step. That way your step doesn't go anywhere because mine's just a little bouncy. So that was a good buy, and then I got some more of these latches. These are the storage compartment latches, because I have like one or two missing, and I the other ones, the springs are kind of messed up in them, so I'm replacing them all. I bought a few of those. And also, my porch light disintegrated. I bought off of eBay and it was motion detection and it worked for about a week and then it just stayed on permanently it just went in motion detect anymore I don't know what was wrong with it anyways so I bought a really nice round one it's huge <laughs> I love it though and it has the foam cushioning or whatever you call it Yep, so that I'm going to be installing. I really like that one. And what else is it? Um, I went to Home Depot and got more lights. These are solar lights. These actually ha uh, go to a flagpole. But um, my mirrors are poles, so I'm going to attach them to that just for more lighting when I'm boondocking. And then also, last but definitely not least, this is what the issue was, um, is right here, the radiator cap. So I'm gonna install the new radiator cap and hopefully that will fix the problem. It just wasn't pulling from enough fluid from the reservoir. So, and this was what I was told could be the major problem. So yeah, I'm glad all that's done. And actually, when I came up here, uh, we drove well over two hours and I had no issues. So, but um, yeah, I wa do you want to get that radiator cap replaced so that way it does, because the, the radiator was full, so that's why I wasn't having any issues. But um, as time goes on, I don't want to have those issues again, but I'm going to keep a watchful eye and keep checking my all my fluids. I usually am really good about my oil, but um, my others I kind of laxed on. So, yay! That's all done, and I'm just gonna do some installs. There's a couple more projects that I want to get done while we're here for a little bit, and then um, we're gonna get back on the road. Here is the solar light, and here's the pole clamp. I'm gonna attach this really quickly, because it doesn't take much, just um, a wing nut, and then I just tighten this down on the pole. There is a solar panel, so I'll show you after I get it installed. That was easy and quick. It installed in less than five minutes. It's a very unusual light, but I like how this is flexible right here, and I can direct it like towards the front. And yeah, that looks good. I want some light towards the front. You'll see why later. But, and I like how it's solar and it just connects to this pole right here. It's definitely different looking, but I, I like it. All right, I have the step stabilizer in. And see, that's it. It just goes right under the stairs and it stabilizes it. Isn't that neat? Yeah, because this could be not very strong. So I'm glad to have that under there. So if you look right here, there are actually some screw holes 
and this is where a handle is supposed to go. I've never had a handle here since I've owned Panda, but by checking out other RVs and stuff, I noticed they had handles there. And I always wondered, I was like, oh, it doesn't have a handle. So I went ahead and purchased that, and I'm going to go ahead and install it. And also another thing is the handle closes this gap up. So sometimes, you know, bugs will try to get in here, which is unfortunate. But hopefully that will prevent it. All right, door handle in, and it's sealed. Here's where my last door mount was. That completely broke apart. And this end of the arm broke off. New door hardware is in. There is the latch and there's the receiver. Yay. No more bungee. Here's the latch in action. Much better. <laughs> I'm so glad to have that replaced. As you can see right here, there used to be a magnet. And this is what would keep the screen door attached and open. So I have to replace that because that is falling apart too. That's the thing about older RVs. You know, you have to fix them up because things will fall apart or get old and stop working. Here's the storage compartment. This one is my house batteries and this is the replaced latch for it. This is what the old one looked like. See how the latch had actually broken. Plus it was old and ugly. That looks more modern and updated. Yay! I just have a couple more to install. So there's another one above this storage compartment. This is the storage under my bed. And that's what this one looks like. It's not bad looking and it works, but it still could be updated. So all of them match. I'd prefer them to match. I was able to replace all of them. This one didn't even have one. This was the old refrigerator vent, but now is the bottom of my battery bank, my new battery bank. And that one's installed as well. I've installed this one above this door because this one was completely missing. It wasn't even there. I always had to hold that door open, so that's going to be much better. Let's see. I believe it's open. I'm uh, installing some clips. So, yep, that's basically how it works, and it just holds the door open for you. That's much better than having to hold the door open. This is where my porch light was in the normal place above the door, but it literally disintegrated. I guess it wasn't UV rated because it only lasted less than a year before it completely fell apart and then almost fell off. I had to go ahead and remove it. Unfortunately, I only had four of these and there is one more left. So the good one that I have, I'm going to put there. This is my LP gas. So yeah, I definitely want one over there because when I'm filling the gas, it was a pain in the butt. I'd have to hold it for them while they filled it. This is where my porch light was in the normal place above the door, but it literally disintegrated. I guess it wasn't UV rated because it only lasted less than a year before it completely fell apart and then almost fell off. I had to go ahead and remove it. So I have my porch light and these are the connectors I'm going to use because they're waterproof. The positive is hooked up nice and sealed. I'm going to use some electrical tape on that and I forgot I don't need the other connector because the black wire actually grounds to the body here, just right on that nut, or the, sorry, the screw. But I am going to tra change out that rusty screw for one of these. Filled in all the old holes with caulking, and I'm going to use this screw right here for the ground. I've actually stripped the wire more, so I have more wire to wrap around the screw. Alright, I have it all connected. Now I just have to test the light. Let me flip the switch. Here's the switch right here. I already have one switch on. Let's turn that on. Oh, wow, that's bright. And we have light. Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, that's definitely like a spotlight. That's awesome. I love that. So like I said, this does come with a foam seal, so I don't have to caulk it, which is great because, I don't know, caulking sometimes is just messy. None of these items that I purchased had any screws, which is weird. There was no installing brackets or hardware, so luckily I had several um, self-tapping screws laying around, and that's what I'm going to use. These look big enough. Big. <laughs> <laughs> the plane! The plane! <laughs>
<laughs> these yeah. screws okay. were way too big. Yeah, the, see, I got the really thick ones. Okay, yeah, that one worked. Work. Yeah. Is that too long? No, 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 that's okay. not big. Uh, I don't so I I got think a bunch it of those. Oh, you got the self tapers from my closure body. <laughs> what kind of drill is that? <laughs> Black and yeah. yeah. So I forgot to tape off the wire like I said I was and I believe there's a little bit of bare metal showing so it actually blew a fuse but I have the Easy ID fuses and as you see it lights up bright red if it's out which is awesome because I know exactly which one is out. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this and tape up that wire and then reinstall. These are great tools. They make it easy to take that out just pull ta -da, and it's out all right that was a 20 amp fuse and it is now replaced all right close that back up I always keep this tool and fuses in this top drawer because you never know when you're gonna blow a fuse hey we can see now here you go can you hold that for me wait or maybe it's on the roof somewhere I can't see. Okay, and test number two. We have light. I just blew it again. Oh no. That's not good. What is shorting it out? Is it, it, I, it was literally on earlier. Yeah, when it was hanging down. I should, I guess I should. So it seems to work. And we have light, yay! If you're wondering, the wires were reversed. Um, black went to white, and then white was ground, which was odd. But anyways, we got it working, and now we have light. I have a nice bright porch light. That is a spotlight for sure. Anyways, I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me today, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye, y'all. Love you. Stay safe. Onward bound.